Lexi's been running there since she got bumped up first, man. Did she know she tried to clean the bathroom? She's lucky she's my cousin. Right? No, I don't even need this. Really? Yeah, I need this. Mr. Bobby, who's this? I'm glad you asked me that, sweetheart. That's my granddaddy, Robert Stone I. He's the founder of Rob's Diner. Huh. Turns out back in the 60s, this was an all whites only restaurant. He dreamed about being a chef, so he came down here and he begged them for a job. They spit in his face and kicked him out on his ass. But as fate would have it, the place went out of business, and he bought it in 1965. Been in the family ever since. That's right, for generations and generations. When he kicks the bucket, it's gonna be all mine, ain't that right? That's right now in the week. Sorry. <laughs> anyway, that's an amazing story. Yep, he never gave up. In fact, anything you put your mind to, you can accomplish. Yeah. Anyway, I'm gonna get out of here. You kids lock up good. Right. Okay, I don't want none of those protesters getting into my establishment. All right. Good night. 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 George Floyd death was not just about George Floyd, and we, we wish his family peace. There are not thoughts and prayers. But we tend to refer to these situations as individual incidents. When you have one episode, two episodes, maybe you can look at them as individual episodes. But when you have 10 episodes, 15 episodes. You are blind or in denial if you are still treating each one like a unique situation. We have an injustice. In hey, Mel. Justice what rhymes with breathing? I don't know. You're the songwriter, and I'm gonna make some breakfast. You want some? Girl, you know you can't cook. Yesterday took you three hours to make minute rice. Fine. More for me. And for your information, I can cook. I just have my own stuff. Mel, can you get that? Is Reagan home? Yeah, I'm her roommate. What's up? Oh, I'm, I'm sorry. Reagan didn't tell me she had a roommate. So beautiful. Um, you're mad beautiful. Like, why, did you, I, why haven't I seen you around here before? Thank you. Um, I'm serious. If uh, beauty were a minute, you'd be an hour. If beauty were a flower, you'd be a rose. And you are? Oh, my apologies. I'm Makai Stone. The 
Makai Snow. I'm pretty sure you've heard of me. No, I do my thing. I was a lead in a critically acclaimed play, Mama, I Burned a Chicken. <laughs> no. Hmm. Never heard of that? Okay. okay. Um, what about The Illusion of a Slave? I was a lead slave in that. No. Okay. What about, uh, have you seen Black Panther? You were in Black Panther? Well, no. Sort of, I was like way, way in the background. Cause, um, they told me to, uh, that I had the protective village from the cool at night. Mm -hmm. So I, yeah. I was way in the background. Um, mm -hmm. But I'm sort of a celebrity on the off, off Broadway scene. You know, kind of like, you know, like way off Broadway. You know what I'm saying? But uh, yeah, I do, I do. I do my thing. I do some stuff with Spike Lee um, on uh, a couple of sets, but I, I get around and um, okay. yeah. What are you doing here? Oh. Well, I love to stay in chat, but I need to get going. Nice to meet you, Makai. Oh, nice to meet you. Okay, bro, you can put your eyes back in your head. Oh, sorry. <laughs> What's up? Oh, you forgot this at the diner last night. Thank you, I thought I lost it. Oh, I literally have my whole life in Reggie, listen, you gotta get yourself together. Listen, you're not in Georgia anymore. It's yeah, I know, York. I know, okay? I just, I just got here, all right? I understand, but hey, listen, if you ever need anything, your boy Makai, we got your back. Thanks. Hey, oh, bye. Hey, your girl knows me, John. She's single? Yeah, why? Boy, hook yourself up. Chances, I'm ready to fall. We toss you our hearts, but you're dropping the ball. Enough of these games, cause I'm not having fun. Whether I like it or not, baby, it's back to oh, I square don't know why one. I tried. Okay. <laughs> Girl, who taught you how to move like that? I was born with rhythm. My mom told me when she was pregnant with me, I would kick every time she played music. That's why she made me melody. Oh, that's beautiful. You know, you don't talk about your mom that much. Does she live here in New York? No. She died when I was 10. Oh. oh I'm sorry. Um, so, what are you getting all dolled up for? You got a hot date or something tonight? I'm going to Joe's memorial service. He died the other day. Joe died? Oh my god, not Joe! Wait a minute, who's Joe? The weird guy that can't call all those women that walk down the street. Oh. You should come with me. Girl, hell no, we didn't even know that man. Besides, I'm still working on this song out here, and speaking of, what time is breathing? Man, are you still working on that song? Just come with me, Brett invited me. He's kind of cute, so. <laughs> okay, got it, got it. So this isn't even really about Joe. This is about Brett. Can't that man be dead long enough before you swoop in and hit on his side? What happens? People die and other people come and flirt with their sons. It's the circle of life. Now get dressed. Girl, no, I am not going with you. I'm not getting involved in any more of your shenanigans. Remember what happened a few weeks ago with that guy in Central Park? Oh, yeah. Well, at least he dropped the lawsuit. <laughs> I'm not getting involved. You were on your own with this one, okay? I'm not taking part in it. No way, no how. Hey, thanks for coming. How are you ladies? Very natural, thank you. Um, Brad, this is my roommate, Reagan. She's an amazing singer. <laughs> thank you. I'm, uh, gonna go sit down. Well, Melody, I must say, I really can't thank you enough for coming. And you look really beautiful. Oh, thank you. I just threw something on, no big deal. 
and it's no problem at all. I'm so sorry for your loss. I was so devastated when I heard the news. Joe was like a father to me and my friend Reagan. Yeah, it's pretty devastating. My mom isn't handling it too well. Reagan Thomas. Hi. Hey. Uh, have we met? Oh, no, sorry. I'm Serenity Cardova. Um, I wasn't sure if it was you or not, but it is, though. I saw you at the Hellcat. I just, I think you're so talented. Oh. Your voice is just so crisp and unique. Oh, amazing. Thank you. Wow, yeah. I appreciate that. Um, I actually do music, too, and poetry. Oh, cool. So, uh, are you from around here, or? No, I uh, actually just moved here a few months ago from Georgia. I'm still oh. kind of getting used to the New York music scene, so it's nice to know I have a fan already. Yeah, welcome. Where Thanks. in Georgia are you from? Uh, Blakely, it's a really small town. Mm, never heard of it. So, uh, how do you know Joe? Joe? Joe. Joe. Oh, Joe! Right. Um, tragic what happened, right? I mean, heaven really gained an angel. Great guy. Heaven? <laughs> Sorry, between you and me, um, so he tried to sleep with me and every other woman on the block. Yeah, the guy's a first class ticket to hell. I'm just here to be nice. I mean, that's my neighbor, you know? Okay. Yeah, it's like I just saw him yesterday. I really can't believe he's gone. Well, that's life. Here one day, gone the next. You know, if you ever need anyone to talk to or a shoulder to cry on, just let me know, yeah? I appreciate it. Thank you. We can exchange numbers. That would be great. Excuse me one second. Let's see. God is praying. Girl, don't bring God into this. Over there flirting with the dead man's son. God is not pleased. Oh yeah, this is Serenity. Hey, I'm Melody. Nice to meet you. God wants us to be together. Okay, I'm God, and I could be ending world hunger, but I have to make sure Melody has a date on Friday first. Sorry, everybody. Yeah, well, really? I'm sure God's not pleased with the finger found in your dresser drawer. Shut up! Why are you even in my room in the first place? I told you to stop going in my room. Can we go? You said we'd be in and out. Yeah, we could bounce. Plus, I'm creeped out that the man's ass is just sitting there. Mm -hmm. Let's go. Let's be real touch. Yeah. Hey, everyone. Thanks for coming. It really means a lot to me. I really don't want to take up too much of your time, so we'd like to go around the room and share memories of my father. Just please, come up. Serenity, sure, could you say a few words? Just a poem I wrote about death. It's like nothing, nothing wrong. Just um, I'll keep it short. I was just thinking about. Just that. read the poem. Okay. <clears throat> Freed like bountiful butterflies, may each alliteration be swallowed up by the salty sea and lie along the ocean floor in solitude like buried treasure waiting to be found. May these words leap off the pages and be set adrift on the wings of angels that guide me into heaven and greet me with open arms, embracing words I wrote into existence. May my passion for life fuel be the fuel that launches these words into the galaxies right. and causes a cataclysm. All right, we get it. Well, I'm not done yet. It's just a few more standards. I think we get it. Yes. Well, Joe owes me $200, and I want my money. So if anybody wants to pay me on his behalf, that would be greatly appreciated. Sit down, please. Yes, you have something to say? Hi, everyone. I'm... I'm Roxanne Davis, and um, and I just want to say that that Joe was a really great guy and an amazing lover. He can go on and on and and on and on, and we made love all over his house and 
and in the bathroom and in the kitchen. We destroyed it. I know my father wasn't perfect, but for God's sake, the man just died. He deserves some respect. So is there anyone else here that has anything to say? Anything positive? Melody, you told me that my dad was like a father to you. Could you please say a few words? Uh, Joe left us far too soon. I don't really have much to say, so I'll say you one of his favorite songs. <clears throat> swing low, sweet chariot. Coming for to carry me on, sweet low, sweet chariot. Coming for to carry me home. I looked over Jordan, and what did I see? Coming for to carry me on, a band of angels coming for me. Coming for to carry me. Hi, um, that was amazing, Melody. Awesome. Um, but why don't you, uh, let's pick up the tempo a little bit. You know, it's a celebration of life, right? So, um, stop, maybe. Swing low, chariot, won't you let me ride? Oh, sing. Rock and let me ride. Oh, rock with me, rock with me. Oh, hey, I got a home on the other Six white horses standing side by side, oh sing, oh sing, rock with me, rock with me, oh oh oh, I got a home from the other side. Swing low, swing low, and let me ride. Why oh why won't you let me ride, 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 ride? Breathing. Hidden! I can finish the song now! Mel! Wait! 